Hi. I'm here. Yay. Everyone celebrate. <laughs> uh, I see the Moobot popping up on chat, so I'm assuming it. I mean, on my end, I can see when people enter the raffle, so. Hi, Brooke. Hello. How are you? Oh. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. My notification did not go off uh, sound-wise, which is kind of annoying. Redeems. Oh, I had it off. That's awkward. That was very awkward. Thanks for subscribing, resubscribing. Thank you. Hi, Anessa. Hello. All right. I don't have anything immediate to work on right now. So, um, I'm good. What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> see, look, it's, sh it shows it now. I think I know what's been going on with Moobot actually. Oh, do you, okay. DM, I, I see it popping up. So I, yeah, yeah, I, I am seeing people, uh, fucking, you know, <laughs> hold on, let me. Make, uh, announce that the giveaway is open. So I have three people in there. Right now. Um, yeah, I don't know. Do, 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 do. Alright. I'm gonna work on an animation, I guess. For funsies. For fun. Five is cute? Oh my god, no, stop. <laughs> thank you, you're wrong, but thank you. <laughs> you're getting up in that bitch, I know. Ooh, I got dizzy for a second, all right, let's go. That's a good indication that I should um continue what I'm doing. <laughs> um, What was it? <laughs> Stop being wrong. <laughs> um, hmm. Where is it? I can't read. All right. What's the alphabet? Oh, well, okay. Seriously, what the fuck's going on? Okay, there it is. <laughs> I'm all right, I guess. <laughs> I'm all right, I guess. Okay, we do a little casual animating while whilst... We do the raffle. He uses Q2C. Now I know you're fucked up. You can't put me in the same league as him. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> it's like, oh, you had me in the first half. Not gonna lie. <laughs> He's cute, I guess. <laughs> oh, what an odd frame it stopped at, honestly. Uh, timeline. Ooh, is that? Yes, it is. Astute observation, Brooke. <laughs> you can't put me in the same league as him. Here's what I got. She boobs boobly and she's doing a little cute. So we're going to casually chip away at this, I guess. I love her too. She's great. She's a, she's a titty ninja. There's some like key uh, character design elements I haven't put on because it's a sketch. It ain't that deep, so... I hope you're doing that. Thank you so much for resubscribing, Zoe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks. I'll smooth it out. It's a it's a sketch right now, so <sighs> let's do uh, let's ink this bitch. No, she's she's cool, I guess. Alright, you guys get to see me work on an animation. A rare treat for everyone. I just didn't know what else to work on, like, that isn't just a raw thing. I guess I could have worked on Patreons, like, Patreon requests, and Yidis' commission is safe for work, but uh, that's not, that wasn't scheduled for today, that's scheduled for tomorrow. <laughs> but, um, I do my best, I do my best. Alright, let's do a little... Let's reduce the liner. Oh, why is that not? Okay. I'm going to have a glass of good whiskey in celebration of no surgery. Oh, nice. 
That's amazing. That's great. God, surgery scared the crap out of me. I've never had surgery before. So, yay. That's great. I'm so glad you don't have to have surgery. Oh, fuck. What a relief for your body, your peace of mind, and your bank account, right? Like, <laughs> fucking crazy. <laughs> threefold, threefold. I didn't know that I can zoom in and out of, um, hold on, I can't do it on here, but there you go. I can like scroll up and down the thing, which is crazy. That's crazy. I did not know I could do that with my, um, going up and down the timeline with my, uh, whatchamacallit, my tour box. I was like, that's convenient. So I don't have to like, you know, yeah. Anyway, I'll stop talking. <laughs> You guys, so, okay, so after you, okay, so this is how it works. Um, after you, I'm, I'm still pretty much a novice at animation in general, and then, like, also uh, utilizing the the functions of uh, animation on Clip Zero Paint. Because Procreate is cool because it's very straightforward. A child can animate something, even accidentally. And it's very streamlined. This one's a little more, um, I guess, cumbersome in terms of, because I don't know what the fuck this is. Like, oh, interpolate the fucking keyframe. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> but we're going to find out. <laughs> That's okay. Lurking is very much welcome. So, so when I have the sketch down... For, hold on, let me label everything as a sketch so I don't get lost. Because when I don't feel like naming the um, the, la the folders for the animation sketch layers, the next best thing you can do really is just color code it. So pretty much technically all, whoop, technically all of these are sketches. So whoops, I can't click. All of these are sketches, so I'm going to label them as purple. Purple. And then you go, oh, not this one. This isn't purple. This is going to be line art. So I'm going to label that as, uh, let's do green. So I'll make a green folder on top of the sketches. And it's just like doing illustration where I lower the opacity. And then I just do the ink work on top of it. I'm trying to be informative, okay? trying to prove my worth as a content creator, quote unquote, a content creator. <laughs> it's like, all right, I'm, I'm not entertaining and I'm not a clout chaser. I'd like to fancy myself as knowledgeable in my area of expertise, with, which is art. So, ah, <laughs> I'm, I'm not lame. I live it. I'm not naming it. Naming it. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not label naming it. <laughs> I'm trying to make okay there you go we're going to I'm gonna use like I'm gonna ink it as if I were because I, I I don't know I'm not a fan of the inks I was using before let's try inking it in the way I would because I use two different inks for so for Soto's animation I used uh the inkster that's what the brush is called and it's really nice but I'm I'm not used to it. I don't know. It felt weird. And then I used the pencil one for the egg he made. That one was okay to work with, but it had too much like feathering going on, and it was kind of annoying to color. So I'm just gonna try my default. I'm gonna try my default brushes as if I were illustrating. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try that. That's like the only approach I haven't done stylistically for these animations. So just to recap, if you guys want to see the animation real quick, it comes naturally. Wait, nope. Okay, well, why is it like low? Oh, it's just like this one. All right, I'm slow. All right, whatever. I went, I didn't click the whole folder and I pretty much just, that's, all right, I'm lost already. This is what I get for not... Okay, this is the hair. What is... Why is it, like... 
Okay, I did I did this one the right way, where it's like Whoa, the onion layer's on. So just to recap if you guys want to see the animation. In its rough phases, go boo boobly my <laughs> slightly. Mm, 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 mm. Hi Cabana. So alright, let's let's get down to business. Okay. I can barely see that. Hold on, let me pump it pump up the jam. I think thirty what what is this? Like okay, I'm I'm fucking myself up. Alright. Yeah, I'm like <laughs> what am I doing even? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> hmm. Hi Soto. Alright. And then before we start inking, we like to get on top of these frames. Woo! What the hell is that? Split clip. Oh, that's weird. Crate in between track light. Oh, that's weird. I don't know what that is, so I'm not gonna make I'm not gonna insert frame. Wait, no. Okay. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even gonna fuck with that menu. You didn't, you guys didn't see it, but that menu looked weird. <laughs> I'm not gonna mess with that. All right, this is 10 frames for the body. So that's not bad, that's not bad. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna lick it anyway. I love saying that. <laughs> So if you watch scary movie, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna lick it anyway. All right, we're gonna ink this as though we are. Oh, am I? No, I'm doing it the right way. I'm just. I just have to lower the opacity. Okay. We're going to ink this as if I were. All right, I fucked myself up because she has like little things like this. So I will just add that. Little, little brain things right here. Animation takes forever. So, you know, like I'm not, I doubt I'm going to get a whole lot done the first hour, but <laughs> me, Bella, <laughs> I'm going to like it anyway. <laughs> Let me zoom out actually. Actually, what I should probably do is lower the, um, it can go down like one more. Yeah, there you go. That's actually a better scale. All right. Just so it doesn't kill my computer. Not that it will, but yeah. <laughs> a little progress. Yeah. We'll see how far I can get with the uh, 40 minutes-ish that I have doing animation. It takes a long time. Like it's a very meticulous job. So, cuz normally like animation studios, they have like a whole team to, you know, kind of just disperse the work. It's not one person doing the entire frame by frame animation, you know what I mean? So, people that solo dolo fucking animations, like full ass animations are crazy. And actually go dead, as the kids say. Oh yeah, are you guys gonna fund an animation? <laughs> Shit's expensive, I tell you what. Yeah, I know. I need a grant. <laughs> you know how scientists get grants for research? I need something like that, but for like my creative endeavors, you know? <laughs> Keychain on the ground, we're always skipping town. Hey, that didn't stop you from having multiple commissions on the fly. So, you know, food for thought. I told that to Tuki. He's like, he's like, all right, we got one frame. 
he's like, oh, no, I, I, I feel shitty for, like, you know. Uh, he's like, I want to take a slot. I'm like, look, some people have had multiple commissions ongoing, more than one, so don't even don't even sweat. <laughs> Hi, Nocturnes! <laughs> Soda Mojo is also someone who does that. Uh-oh, I lost my space. Okay, there you go. And I'm like a stickler about one art, so for animations, I kind of have to like reel it in because you guys are going to be looking at it for like a split second. Animation's crazy like that, I think. I can always like clean it too. That's what they do, you know? They do like the storyboard and then they do the sketch. They clean it. They do the cell shading, the flat coloring, the cell shading, and then the editing, the after effects. Like, fucking, all of that, just, it takes a whole team of people to make a crumb of animation in professional studios, so, like, I'm trying not to beat myself up for making a tiny little, like, you know, GIF animation, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, Edis, you guys are, like, doing a pretty decent job at keeping me away from the law office, so... <laughs> Hold on, let me, hold on, let me put the window so you guys can see what I'm working on. Whoop. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you guys can see it from there. My money spends just as well as everyone else's. Yeah, it does. <laughs> that's so good. No way. <laughs> Not a Saul Goodman. He's like an actual lawyer. <laughs> I'm no. You got to keep me away from the Saul Goodman. So I don't want to. I don't want to be. I don't want to be a law nurse. Well, I do. Like you know, to an extent. But <laughs> this gig honestly pays better. <laughs> if I'm being honest, <laughs> a lot more freedom too. I will admit. A lot more fun as well. Frame one done. It's 10 frames for the body. That's not too bad. Because if it's like one of those sexy, sexy gifts that I make, um, it would be more frames. <laughs> throne! Yes, throne. The topic markers got funded, so. I don't even remember what I put up on that bitch. I'm like, what, did I, what else did I put up there? <laughs> Hell yeah. Body. <laughs> Marker bag? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The iPad. Oh, don't even get me started on the iPad. <laughs> Do you guys not see it? That's weird. Because I see the throne. We'll DM you after stream. Okay. I see it on mine. Other than Yidis, can you guys see when Moobot adds you? Because I have 10 entries right now. It, the last person that it added was uh, Spanky Monkey, so. Shrimp birthday! <laughs> Yee! I see it on desktop only. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I'm on OBS. If it's not showing up on, like, the Twitch, uh, if, the app on the phone, I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> but we'll, we'll talk about it after. We'll talk about it after. So tomorrow after Fight Night, we're going to be watching Dragon Ball Evolution. Yay! So fun. I know I said no, like, bad movies in a row, but it feels appropriate. So I'm like, yeah, let's do that. And then we'll watch something a little more serious next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Crevetta the Shrimp Pal. <laughs> Good, bad, bad movies are fun. I don't... Annihilation was unwatchable, to be honest. Like, um... Whatchamacallit, uh, the first Mortal Kombat was bad in a good way. Kind of like Snakes on a Plane. But Annihilation was so... 
yeah, Mark was just over here like, I'm pretty sure they shot this all in one take. And I'm like, you're fucked up for that. <laughs> it popped up for you? Yeah, you're probably, are you on desktop or are you on your phone? Dare. The Kamehameha, the best airbending move. <laughs> <laughs> I've admittedly only watched Snakes on a Plane once. I do not have the I do I don't know. I don't have the the guts to watch it again. I want to remember it as it was when I watched it back in 2007, 2008. So <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I haven't seen it since it released. I saw it in theater on a matinee with my friends. And it was delightfully cringe, but I didn't want to watch it again. <laughs> it's it's one of those things where it's like, ah, it's best that we watch it the one time, honestly. Damn, body. <laughs> don't mind me just made just oh yeah she has a fucking thing like the little I will man that's gonna be a bitch to kind of whatever we bow am I right friends we bow who Angie stop <laughs> she, she's messaging me on snapchat it's that time it's that time All right, we got frame one line art done. It's like if you really do the math, it's so hectic and annoying because I have 10 frames for the body. Or it's like, I don't know, I don't even feel like doing the math. Someone do the math. Okay, so the body, the body, the frames for the body sketch, or I guess, yeah, the sketch. I don't even count the sketch really, right? It, let's not count the sketch. Um, if I have to do like the line art and then the flat coloring, and I do the shading within the flat coloring, so that doesn't really count. But um, I have 10 frames for the body, and then seven frames for the head, seven frames for the eyes, and then seven frames for like the extra little flares and stuff. So it would be 10 frames of I'm like confusing myself already. Uh, 10, 10 frames of the line art. I can see it in my mind, but I can't articulate it. I have 10 frames for the line art and then 10 frames for the color. So that's like 20, 20 plus 14 plus 14 plus 14. And then like extra ones, right? That's a fucking lot of frames to fucking, oh God, fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, God. Hi, Lavender. <laughs> it's like the best way I can put it, because it's like, that's assuming I I shade and render within the flat colors, because if I wanted to do it like the, I, I wouldn't even call it the easy way at that point, like sh cell shading it on a multiply layer, that's just like an extra seven and an extra, so an extra 17, because it would be one for the body and then one for, like, the other, the other elements that also share the same seven frames in sequence, if that makes any sense. So, my head exploded in Smoothie Ross. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm just like, all right, that, that's, that's the best way I can articulate it. I'm like, I don't count the sketch. So, this isn't even counting the sketch. I have to fucking do the, you know, 10 frames of ink for the body. 10 frames of color, ten fra seven frames of hair, or like the head, and then color, so that's 14, and then seven eye and mouth, for the face frames, and the coloring for that, that's like another fucking, well, that depends if she blinks too, so that's like a variable, because like, I, I don't know. Whoo, that's a lot of work, regardless. <laughs> you just, <laughs> uh, all right, let's go. Bro, that's a lot of frames. And I have to do this all by myself. All by my lonesome, guys. This is why I charge what I charge for for animations. 
Why draw one picture when you can draw many pictures? <laughs> all right, all right, we got one frame. We got one frame inked. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's a lot of work, is all I'm saying. <laughs> well, I priced it that way because, like, I'm still in my, like, pr like novice phase. Not novice to the point where, like, I wouldn't feel confident, like, offering it as something someone wants to pay for. But at the same time, I, for something that takes me hours to do, I'm not charging, like, $200 for <laughs> Sorry, guys, but it's a lot of work. <laughs> 99 frames of animation on the wall. 99 frames of animation. <laughs> you do one line and pass it around. Then you start to cry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's a different beast, for sure. All right, second frame, onion layer to make sure I'm not fucking it up. Okay. <laughs> Labor of love, yeah, for real. Just people charging like $5,000 for like, you know, a, a even like a not safe for work animation that, that's like two minutes. Or like even five minutes. That's in the, ugh. It, within those five minutes. There's probably like four or five different scenes. So you know, and yeah, it's like looping most of the time when it's um, not safe for work. But it's like fully rendered stuff with sound effects too. So five thousand dollars is cheap. Like that's cheap for amount the amount of work that goes into it. You know, it's a lot. <laughs> Let me onion layer it. Okay. Come on. Why isn't it going? Okay. Let me just do it over again. This boob is being difficult. <laughs> Fifty grand is too, a little high for apparently what it was. So um, I I I understand that it takes a lot of work, but fifty grand is uh, yeah, it, it's a bit high. I would maybe ten grand would be a better like a more reasonable and fair assessment to skill time taken quality all that 50 grand is too much too much <laughs> it's also like you know like if if people have the money to spend on that then you know far be it from us to part the incredulous from their money <laughs> Oh, pain. I'm already feeling it. I'm like, man, these are... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I mean, I do in Monopoly money. <laughs> Fair. Remind me daily that I'm not in control. Mm -hmm. 
I should have just started inking the face first. So I'm like, all right, I, this is the second, the second um, frame for line art for the body. I quit. <laughs> That's enough work for the day. <laughs> I'm not going to get much done. This is like a sub raffle stream. <laughs> An hour is like not even a lot of time to work on this. <laughs> I mean, I know what you freaks like. <laughs> the break time. Okay, well, did I miss a spot? I did miss a spot. This is why it's important to do onion layers. <laughs> miss a spot. <laughs> huh. Oh, girl, shut up. <laughs> oh, girl, layers. <laughs> Mike, did I miss a spot, damn it? I did miss a spot, damn it. Okay, the ogre layers are important. And then I'll turn off the onion layer and then I'll just spruce up the lines. Okay. All right. <laughs> I know I really shouldn't be spending as much time like line weighting it. Like I'm like kind of shooting myself in the foot adding line weight to an animation as if it were an illustration. Because if you notice in a lot of animations, they don't really have line weight. Unless it's like a super stylized anime that has like all the resources in the world. They use like singular fucking lines, you know what I mean? Kind of like, like uniform lines like that. So, oh well, I already started. So, <laughs> old habits do die hard, yes. I don't know. Because I do. I tried the singular Suck. line thing, yeah. and I'm like, Suck oh, it's so ugly. Mr. Meepo Art, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for following. Ah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> thank you for following. <sighs> All right. Thank you. 
Two frames. Play. <laughs> We're getting there. <laughs> Only eight more body frames to go. <laughs> it already looks good, though. Like, when you throw even, like, more than one frame of clean lines. Yeah, slow and... Yeah, two frames. Slow and steady. Slow and steady, indeed. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Uh, frame three, let's go. <laughs> frame three, let's go. <laughs> I got two frames done in um, under an hour. <laughs> Trying here. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> Onion layer. Okay. Okay. Trying to make sense of the. It's right here. Okay. Need a marker for where like the shoulder starts because that's mainly what I want to focus on when I'm doing like the, um, okay, this one goes up a little. Critical. All right. Because I don't want to lose where the, um, especially since it's not on the sketch, I don't want to lose where her like little like strap things come in. So we got this. We got this. What type of commissions do you enjoy doing the most? Right now, Life 2D. I'm having a lot of fun. Like, I know it's, like, laborious and stuff, but I have – it's it's honestly very challenging and time-consuming, and each one feels like a lesson. And, um, yeah, I don't know. It, it's really fun. And, it, and when, once it all comes together, once it's finished and stuff, it's very rewarding having – a functional VTuber all made up, you know what I mean? So right now it's that, definitely, for sure, 100%. My favorite ones to do right now. It's very fun. I didn't think I would like doing Live 2D because I initially learned it just so I can save money and learn how to do it myself. <laughs> and then uh, come, to, come to find out that I actually really enjoy the work. It's fun. Mm -hmm. Hello! Hi, Alex. <laughs> it's going. It's going. We're doing a little animation, so how are you? How are you? This song pops up a lot on my Spotify. Not that I don't like Josie and the Pussycats of the early 2000s. Sure. Britney Spurs. Hi, Warsaw. Okay. 
that. Turn off the onion layer. Okay. Whoops. There you go. Then Okay, now we spruce. <laughs> Working and watching. Oh, thank you. Ah, <laughs> uh, you got away with words. <laughs> Only ask for research purposes. Uh oh, you're being a little dubious. What are you up to? <laughs> Someone says I have a big dick, and um, honestly, yeah, it's kind of do. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> He's so stupid. He says the stupidest shit on my Twitter post. <laughs> don't, don't listen to him. <laughs> I don't have a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done enough animation commissions to decide whether or not I love it or hate it. I mean, obviously, I like doing it. I'm fucking doing it right now like an idiot on stream, so... <laughs> So, you know, like, I, I kind of like the torture a little bit, I feel like. My neurons, they're on fire. Should probably do the eyes or something next. Okay. It's going, it's going. We like the pain. Ugh, I know, right? Yeah, I started listening to the Sandman Audible while I was at the gym. Yo. <laughs> Morpheus sounds so good. Like, it's really good because it's pretty close. To, it, they're reading off the comic, so it's like a crazy, it's not a typical audiobook. It's pretty much like Neil Gaiman's narrating. And then the, the, you have, it's like a high production thing with sound effects and stuff. And then voice actors. So Kat Dennings is apparently deaf. And um, I love her. She's great. And we have fucking the guy that. The one guy that plays Eggsy in um in uh, uh Kingsman, and it's star studded, and I'm just like they do a good job too, uh, voice acting, and it's very gripping. So I I like it. I like it. I'm only a, like you know an hour in, so I'm gonna be listening to that on the stream. I'll try not to get wet, but that's okay because my sweat from running is going to kind of just hide that a little bit. So we're fine, I think. <laughs> Yeah, it's a seal cover. <laughs> oh, the old cattle prod to the backside. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. It's good. It's so good. I'm just like, I don't get ASMRs where they're talking and stuff. Yesterday. Like yeah, yesterday. I was literally talking about that on Discord. And then I listen to the voice actor who does Morpheus in the audiobooks, and I'm going to damn near fall off the elliptical and faint, I think. <laughs> the thirst, it overcomes me. <laughs> and of course, Mark has to chime in and call him a creature. <laughs> Weird-ass looking motherfucker. He's such a hater, though, honestly. 
<laughs> oh my god, every time I'm trying to be like I'm trying to be like cute and sexy or whatever. I'm just like, yeah, I like it when you're I was like, I think it's very sexy when your voice gets all low and husky. I like it. And then uh, this was on Snapchat, so I messaged him. And he writes back, mm, jizz. <laughs> I'm like, shut up. I fucking hate you. <laughs> this is what I get. He turns it into a joke. Every time I flirt with him a little, he deflects by making it a joke. And I'm like, I hate you. Why don't you like having fun, sexy times? <laughs> mm, jizz. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I can only get so excited for it. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> so I just keep all my comments to myself. I'm like, whatever. If you're gonna make a joke about it, it's like, it's like the equivalent of wearing lingerie, and then he pulls his pants down and starts doing a helicopter dick. So like, I'm like, all right, <laughs> this is what my effort gets me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be sexy, but whatever. <laughs> this is my reward. <laughs> no, seriously. It's like it's like I set up a bedroom full of like rose petals and candles, set the mood, some wine, some chocolates and like candle wax we can play with. And then lingerie, and then he just walks in, drops his pants, does helicopter dick, and then puts his hand to his armpit and starts making fart sounds with his armpit. That's what it feels like. <laughs> I'm like, all right, man. I was trying to be a little serious and intimate with you, but nah. I felt shot down a little bit, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't actually do that. <laughs> Frame three, I believe, is done. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Even just a little bit of titty. Yes. She's coming along. Even with just three frames. Good job, fives. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> See what I can do in like 10 minutes. We have seven more frames to do, friends, for the body alone. Damn. Oh, oh yeah, it's all coming together. <laughs> oh, pain. I'm looking at it. Oh. <laughs> I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ugh. <laughs> No, it's not. Go ahead, throw your name in in the next nine minutes. No, I start at the one hour mark, my dear. <laughs> I just, whenever I lose faith, I'm just like, all right, I'm just going to play it to remember the mission. Remember the mission. We're doing boob shake my with some fire. Yes, this is going to be worth it. This is going to be worth it. This is going to be worth it. Hang in there, shrimp. I'm trying. <laughs> Don't lose faith. Keep going. <laughs> it is my astute observation. Oh, God. The boob curves, they're not with me tonight. <laughs> What's going on? The boobs have revolted against me. I put on all time low when I need to like grind out work and I need to, it's really good for like live 2D work and animations. It's just, they can't, they've carried me through so many hard times, all time low and the strokes and the band Camino, my boys, my boys carrying me. I'm like, oh, the mental damage, it's too much. <laughs> I didn't make tribute to the boobs. Oh. 
<laughs> Dude, Andy can get it. He's hot. Oh, Terry too. <laughs> I, Terry was like my first crush, for real, for real. Oh, God. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I've actually never played King of Fighters. I, I missed that boat. I missed it. I missed it. They were, they were already taken off, and I was running up the docks. And I'm like, oh, no, wait, hold on, come back. And then they took off without me. They set sail without me. Had my little burlap sack, like, over my shoulder. Wearing the fucking little uh, newspaper boy hat. Like, wait for me. And then the tugboat went, burp. I'm sorry. I'm like getting so carried away with the visual. I got a legit got a haircut like his. <laughs> nice. Oh my god. He's he's alright, I guess. <laughs> emo cut. The emo cut lives. It persists. It is eternal. It is endless. Okay. Okay, I'm just laying out the bass lines and stuff just so because when I always start out, it's like slowish and then. It starts like clicking, if that makes any sense. Ooh, did I? Okay, no, I didn't. Did I do a thing I wasn't supposed to do? <laughs> okay, I think I can turn the onion layer off for this. Actually, onion layer. Okay, and then we can go over the lines, you know, should be fine. <clears throat> okay, now I think I can... <clears throat> Turn off the onion layer. All right. Wait, hold on. I'm missing something. <laughs> Yay! Thank you for resubscribing. Okay, now I can turn it off and then erase as needed. And it should be a good old time. See how that looks real quick before I Yeah, that's that's pretty good. I just have to add the line weight and stuff. It's already coming along nicely, guys. Oh look it's my <laughs> it's like everyone just fucking coming in today. Oh look it's my <laughs> <laughs> it sure is <laughs> these movies are unmistakably my alright fair enough let's add the line weight now and then we'll have uh, six more frames to do for the line art <laughs> What gave it away? Mm -hmm. 
See, I'm getting faster with the line right now. Kind of just have to just fucking throw it on to one frame and then clean it as I go. I feel like that's a more um, time efficient way to do it. Of course, I could just like not do line weight and just do straight lines like most animations because it just moves so fast. You can barely register the line quality anyway. So, yeah, <laughs> I've done this to myself. <laughs> That looks good. Play. It already looks, it's coming along. It already looks good. We got this, guys. We got this. <laughs> it's the one hour mark. <laughs> Titty's gonna fall out, man. <laughs> All right, stop it right here. Save it, lest I just lose all that work. So, last call for these. We have twelve entries so far. So, last call. <laughs> I won't unless y'all ask me not to. <laughs> Beggar, it'll please me. <laughs> Boobly. <laughs> that sounds like an adjective for Michael Bublé. Boobly. -er -er. <laughs> All right, I think that's everyone. Yay! Congratulations! <laughs> I will, while you figure out what you want me to draw, I'm gonna go wet my whistle, piss like a racehorse, all that good stuff. So I'll be right back. So just uh, DM me, whisper, send me a whisper what you want, and then we'll get to drawing for you. Be right back, guys.
All right, I'm back. Hello. What up? I was having gummy lifesavers. Fucking delicious. <laughs> I always amuse myself. <laughs> what up, little kids? <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> well, I will wait some more. Oh no, no, it's okay. No, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm. Don't worry about it. I'm not actually trying to be a little. See you next Tuesday about it. I promise. <laughs> Oh, how to upload to Imager? Okay. No, that's that's okay. You take your time. Not too much time, but you, you know what I mean? I'm gonna just work on my frames. Yeah, you can sit on Discord. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I see it. Okay, okay. Crisis aborted. Thank you. Hell yee. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh. Cute, cute. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> I'm so sorry for my sounds. I gotta hide the timeline palette though. <sighs> Love it. <laughs> All right, this is for Anessa. Apple. Oh, uh, what's today's date? The fourteenth. Okay. The okay. <laughs> I make so many sounds, it's actually fucked up. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Worse than I can say. Mm -hmm. What was I looking for? Oh, okay. All right, all right. All right, we got this. Question, does she have pointy ears or no? Just a real quick question because I can't tell from the reference. Okay. The road is long. I am tired, but you are my horizon. <laughs> and I can't sleep as you're near. Keep me safe, keep me sane, keep me honest. Okay. Mm 
It begins. What is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a sketch for now. Okay. Oh my god, you idiot. My stupid cats keep like going in and out, it's annoying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's mostly Velvet's fat ass that just, like, doesn't know whether she wants to stay up front or go to the back where our bedrooms are. The fat donuts <laughs> out of context, out of pocket. That just sounds really mean to say. <laughs> I love how Sparky is just like, you're a fat. <laughs> <laughs> because he overhears me see, like, you know, just saying that. My velvet, you're a fat. <laughs> and, now, and now I have the bird body shaming her. <laughs>
I don't train him. He just picks up random, not random, but like sounds throughout the house. He imitates the child whining. So, ugh, that's my least favorite one. Let me take a closer look. Let me take a gander. Okay. I learned it by watching you. <laughs> Oops. Another demon character approaches. Yes. Yes, sir. Who? Oh, Sanji, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It's around that time. Okay. Yeah, that time of the night, this bitch. <laughs> Demon characters do be gooder. No wonder you guys follow me. <laughs> Starting a demon girl cult. <laughs> we do have a lot of demon girls up in this bitch. It's crazy. I am not complaining. <laughs> Suck, you jackass. Kayami Mystica, thank you for following. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hell yeah. <laughs> zoom out. Hell yeah, zoom in. <laughs> wow. 
Whoops. <laughs> you got to take a step back a little bit. <laughs> Time's going by fast tonight, it feels like, to me. I'm, like, kind of zooming past this uh, sketch raffle, too. Damn. <laughs> it's your sister's OC? Ah. How sweet of you to get something for your sister. My brother got me a stick of gum once. I'm kidding. No, I, my brother's nice to me, but. Oh, okay. I'm paranoid now because monkey's like, spanky monkey's like, yeah, research. I'm like, no, what are you doing? <laughs> My my paranoid side is coming out of the woodwork. I'm like, oh no, what has he got planned? <laughs> my brother would make me trade him for all my good Pokemon cards. <laughs> I haven't talked to my brother in a while. I think he's in his feelings or some shit. He's normally bugging me, but I don't know. He might just be busy, which I get too. But he has like, he always like has a few months in the year where he's like a recluse. So whatever. I mean... I'm right here if he wants to talk to me. Dude, my brother's so annoying, my oldest brother, because earlier this month, he had a birthday party for his daughter, who was turning four, I guess. Yeah, four. Um, and then the day of, he pretty much said, like, oh, we're going to cancel and reschedule. Because uh, we got the invitation two weeks ago. And then... The day of, he cancels because he sends me a text saying, oh, are you guys still coming? What time are you coming? And I'm like, oh, around four, where you guys said that I was starting. And then he's like, oh, okay. And then literally, like, in the afternoon, he's like, oh, never mind, because Jonathan can't come for whatever reason, and we really wanted him to come. So we're just going to reschedule it. With Jonathan is, and his kids, his high school friend, and his kids aren't going to come because whatever, and then we're rescheduling for the end of the month. I'm like, okay, so fuck everyone else, though, right? Like, just because this one friend with his kids aren't coming, 
you're just going to cancel the entire party and then everyone like pretty much canceled their plans to keep that day open. So it's like really stupid. Rest easy, Lavender. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, it seemed like a stupid reason. I'm just like, okay, so whatever. Well, well, we're busy. We're busy on the 23rd. Oh, well. <laughs> That's weird. I'm just like, okay, so your your family, like my brother, me and my kids and my brother, like don't matter. Like we were still going to come and whoever else you decided to invite. I don't, I, I don't know who was, he was inviting, but it's like a kid's party. So it couldn't have been that big, but it was really stupid. I'm just like, okay, so we kept that day open for you just for you to cancel the day of. So now we don't know what to do for the rest of the fucking day. Thanks for that. Like, it's so dumb. I'm like, whatever. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going, I'm not going. So whatever. <laughs> That it just seemed really shitty to do. Like, oh, this one friend and his kids aren't coming, so the whole thing is canceled to a day they can come. I'm like, you are making a lot of accommodations for just this one person that's not showing up when, like, more than half the people who said we were gonna come are going to come. He's really bad at planning stuff, so whatever. He's he's an idiot. I love him, but he's an idiot. I don't know what happened. I mean, whatever. <laughs> I love my brother, but he's he's he he's an idiot sometimes. It's like Tiffany, control your man. <laughs> no, she's she's uh she's a bit too soft spoken for all that, but <laughs> Tiffany, control your man. <laughs> Brothers are so special. I know. I have two of them. Two ugly brothers. <laughs> That's why I was a pride and joy of my mother. It's like, look at my daughter, my only daughter, my daughter who's so pretty. <laughs> and her two other sons who are ugly. <laughs> control your control your husband. <laughs> <laughs> my older brothers that's what happens when like you have two boys in a row and then you really want a daughter so I lucked out with the one boy and one girl but <laughs> my mom always doted on me because I was like the youngest and the only girl and she really wanted at least one girl so she'd been trying to have a girl since my middle brother <laughs> So when she finally got the girl, she's like, hey, my the guy girl. So every time she introduced me to her friends or her, like, you know, professional colleagues or whatever, she's like, oh, this is my daughter. Isn't she pretty? And I'm like, okay, mom. <laughs> and those are my two sons. <laughs> I'm like, damn, okay. <laughs> she was so Asian about it. I'm like, yo, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Either a surprise or a mistake, child. <laughs> oh, yeah, and these two boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had a com complica complicated relationship with my mom. I gave her hell, but, like, I don't know. It it's weird. Mother-daughter relationships are very odd. We didn't start liking each other until we didn't live together. I think we really started to bond when one we didn't live together anymore and two when i got pregnant the first time and like you know that's when we seriously started to bond okay to be fair everyone like about 90 percent of the people in the world are fucking surprises it's fucked up but it's just like to be called a surprise or an accident it's not even an insult anymore like just shit happens life finds a way and <laughs> it really does it really does except for our daughter our daughter was planned 100% she was like 2 years in the making where i'm like we're like okay we're going to save up some money because like i'm self employed so i have to have money put away for like when i'm not going to be working and then you know yeah and then 
and we're gonna quit smoking and that that happened because i can't like be smoking and then try and get pregnant and then try to quit because that's gonna suck and uh, we're gonna wait to try until i graduate from school so yeah it was like planned she was planned okay and it it's night and day honestly it's fucking crazy yeah it was it was it took some planning we had to put money away and then we had to fucking, like, put more money away for, like, moving after the first year of having her because she was going to stay in the bedroom with us anyway. Because when you have a new baby, it's recommended that they sleep in the same room with you. Not in the bed, the same room as you, at least until they're eight months old. So so we're just like, yeah, we'll, we'll move when she's closer to, like, a year old or something because she doesn't need her own room at that time. But yeah, yeah, I'm glad too. It was an expensive habit, and I'm sorry I'll color this. I'm talking too much. <laughs> Get the color and sleep. All right. <laughs> well, yeah, because like you want them close by, so you don't like. They don't accidentally suffocate. That's like the first year is always so scary. Honestly, it's very scary because anything bad can happen to your to your kid, to your baby. They're so fucking fragile. Anything can happen. And it's very frightening times. But then once they're mobile and shit, it's like, all right, well, who who was trying to climb that and busted their head open? You. All right. You only have yourself to blame. Stop crying. <laughs> <laughs> no slave drivers. <laughs> I'm like, why are you crying? You do that to yourself, whatever. Dude, like when she was mobile and she started like messing with the cats, I feel like her pain threshold is higher now because she like just you know, keeps getting into accidents, and kids do that, you know? They, they just fucking do that. There's no if ands, or buts about it. Like, you want them to toughen up a little bit. And she, I feel like she has, like, a higher pain tolerance ever since, like, she tried to duke it out with the cat, and, uh-oh, this, uh, the coloring is gonna make me a little nervous. So, yeah, Velvet doesn't defend herself because she's an idiot, and, um... <laughs> She is. She's dumb. <laughs> she's stupid, stupid. But, um, yeah, man. Like, her pain tolerance is pretty fucking high. <laughs> Put the cookie down now. Like, you can't reasonably shelter your kids from everything. Like, they need to experience bumps and scrapes, you know what I mean? I mean, jelly bean. Oh, fingers crossed this works. It's probably not, but you know, whatever. We'll see. Uh, colorize. It'll be okay. If I cast become strong. <laughs> the server is busy. Please wait a moment. How about you suck my dick? <laughs> You bleeding? You dead? Why are you crying? Exactly. Like, you know, unless, unless like they they have to be rushed to the hospital. It's like, oh, okay, you're fine. Just let's put a bandaid on it. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm not that mean, but <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's actually not bad. That's not bad. I'm very surprised. I was expecting it to just like completely mishmash everything. The yellow kind of bled out around her face, but that's okay. That's fine. I was mostly worried about the black jacket. Thank you. 
And then blur it. Hell yeah. I'm so smart. <laughs> Just constantly patting myself on the back. No, I do that because honestly, inside my head, I'm less kind. So, yeah. <laughs> I personally like to manually flat color things myself, but because I don't trust colorize all the way. But it's good for like, you know, quick little sketch renders like this. I don't know if I ever told you guys this story, but um, the last time I went to the Korean festival, so they have like people do performances and stuff. It's volunteer, obviously. Okay, I had to stop for a sec. I thought my kid was crying. Um, and there was, I don't know, I mean, stop me if I've told you a story, but like we went to the Korean festival and they were doing performances and stuff and then like these high schoolers were supposed to do like a k-pop dance or whatever it was like hip-hop or something and then at the last minute only one of them showed up and then he did the dance without them i think that is so fucked up like if anyone did that to me i would one i would not even have the balls to just go up there and do the routine by myself but me and my brother were like gassing him up. We're like, yeah, you know, cheering him on because that takes a lot of courage to just see through to it. You know what I mean? That was crazy. I would never talk to those people ever again. Like, it's, oh, the child's crying. Hold on. All right, I have to wait for her to, like, cry it out because she has this habit right now where she, like, she'll just wake up, especially since now she's a, a lot more vocal. Like, she, she communicates a lot more now. I'm, like, that. I'm the number one person she's always asking for. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that Mark doesn't do his part. He really does. But it's just, like, kids will always, one, especially when they're this little, they will 100% always seek out their mother first and i'm like oh leave me alone child <laughs> but she'll wake up in the middle of the night and then just start calling me and i'm like nah no she she wakes up at like three or like 5 a.m and i look at the monitor uh, and then i just i just mute her i'm like go back to bed child nothing's wrong with you go back to sleep <laughs> 
kids like kids when they're this little they always want the mother i'm like i'm i'm over you right now i'm off to you to leave me alone dude mark is just when he is home when he it's his like day off and shit he's just like she's like calling for me and climbing all over me and then I'm just like, no, nah, go to your father. I'm off duty. Leave me alone. <laughs> she'll be up. Like, she'll just go, mommy. I'm like, no, there ain't no mommy here. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> your mother's not here right now. Go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> If there's nothing wrong, it's like I'm I'm pretty especially since it's my second child, I don't feel like the sense of urgency to, you know, just jump at every little fucking thing that might be wrong, especially since I have a good read on my child. Like they they just, if sometimes they just fought, sometimes they just need to cry it out. It's like nothing's actually wrong because first time parents will be like, "Oh my god, they're going to develop like abandonment issues it's like they won't unless you abandon them <laughs> in their formative years <laughs> they need to learn how to self-soothe and uh, right re and regulate their emotions and you do that by leaving them to it i'm not saying neglect your child but i'm also saying don't rush to their like every beck and call because then they will become overly dependent on you you know what i mean that's something i learned with uh my second one <laughs> Especially when it's your first kid, I understand it's heartbreaking to have to listen to them cry. Mark, this is his first kid, technically. Like, this is his first baby. His only baby. And then he's hearing her cry, and then he's having sympathy pains. He's like, oh, I was like, no, you stay right there. You stay right there. <laughs> don't don't go running or you lay back down. <laughs> this isn't my first rodeo, so I'm just like, no, she's fine. She's just... She's just, you know, she's trying to get her way. And then she pulls the daddy, help me card. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> and he wants to do the whole, what, like, you know, SpongeBob lifeguard thing. And I'm like, I'm going to tie you. I'm going to tie you down. <laughs> daddy, help me. And I'm like, oh, this, this girl. You think anyone's going to fall for that. <laughs> Mark. Mark will fall for that. <laughs> She's such a daddy's girl. Oh, my God. <laughs> Until he puts his foot down and she comes running to me. I'm like, leave me alone, child. <laughs> yeah, she's going to be a daddy's girl for sure, for sure. He's like, no. I'm like, yes. Stop manipulating your father. You know, there's no sport in it. <laughs> Yeah, it looks better. All right, now we do some shading. Yeah, she went back to sleep just like that because I heard her crying. I'm like, what the hell? And I waited for her to stop crying, and then she went back to sleep as she should. <laughs> Put up the baby gate. She's not that little. We used to have baby gates, but now she knows how to climb through every. I can't believe she's going to be three in like two months. She's going to be three. <sighs> It happens so fast, guys. We had a lead inspector guy come in today just to check the place to make sure the building's up for code. And he's like, you know, my, my daughter's following him around and he's just like, oh. And then I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry that she's digging through your stuff. He's like, oh, yeah, like I'm, I'm used to this. Like I, ha I have four kids. They're all grown now. But, you know, and he's like, for the first time in 30 years, my house is finally quiet. And I'm like, <laughs> All right. He said his youngest is a freshman in college. So I'm like, damn. <laughs> He's like, yep, it goes by pretty fast. And I'm like, yeah, it does. She was just like a little grub. Like, feels like last month she was just a little grub. Sucking on her pacifier and being a good sleeper. Now she's over here playing psychological and emotional warfare on both me and Mark. And it's like, ha, sucks to be you. Because... 
Me and your father, we love each other. We have a foundation. You can't just pit us against each other. We're a united front, which I think is very important in parenting. You have to be a united front. If like you don't have a solid foundation in your relationship and you're one of those people that wind up having kids thinking that's going to bring you closer together, I'm not going to say it doesn't. Very rarely it does, but that's not a reason. One, not a reason why you should have kids in the first place. And two, it's more than likely that your kid, the kid that you're going to have, is just going to create a wider rift between you and your partner. So, but more importantly, one, a kid is not the cure all. It's not the panacea for like all your relationship problems. And thankfully, we're, I mean, not thankfully, but we're at a point in history where people are reluctant to have kids anyway. So that's great, <laughs> I guess, because there are a lot of people who are just not. Not even like a financial way, but they're not emotionally or, yeah, they're not emotionally or mature enough to have kids. I wasn't when I first had my kid, to be honest. But I grew I grew into it, you know? I grew into it. I, like, I, I got, it was trial by fire and I just sounded like I had a fucking southern accent for a hot minute. But uh, <laughs> it was trial by fire and, uh. I, I did it again. What the fuck? <laughs> Why do I sound like I have a I have a southern accent when I say that? Trial by fire. There you go. <laughs> panacea? No, panacea. Panacea. I think. I don't know. <laughs> One of those things where I see the word enough, I've never actually heard a lot of people verbally speak it kind of aluminium <laughs> kind of like aluminium it's aluminum stupid british people <laughs> but yeah it's wild to me that some people have kids thinking it's gonna fix a relationship i've known people that have done that and i'm like man you guys are dented actually and i feel so bad for the kids i'm like how has child services not come knocking in your door like Somebody, someone look out for these damn kids because, man, like, it's really fucked up to bring life into this world and just not take care of it. You know what I mean? Life is already hard enough as it is with everything that's fucking going on in the world, but there was never a point in history where it was easy to have a kid. You, you were either born in fortunate circumstances or you weren't. So, you know, food for thought, because a lot of people use that as, like, a reason to not have kids. It's like, I don't want to bring kids to this fucked up world. Like, newsflash, the world has always been fucked up. <laughs> like, it really is just, like, an RNG of whether you're going to be born in fortunate circumstances or not. And some people have, have not been. That was Those were the cards I was dealt. I was not born in fortunate circumstances. Not ideal ones either. And um, we made the best of it, though. Like, it is what it is. We survived. We persisted. And uh, we, we made our own way in the world, eventually. <laughs> but honestly, it's like the worst thing you can do is uh, in regards to, like, procreating is bringing a kid into this world and giving them an unwilling parent. Like, don't, don't do that. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> the hair looks cool, I will say. Email. I got an email. Oh. Yep, that's good. Some blush. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oops. Let's see, I'm almost done. Not in a rush, but yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just woke up and should already sleep. Aw, thank you for popping and say hi. <laughs> Got me myself real quick. Okay. Yeah, she keeps stirring, and I'm like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> Let that research cook in your brain for a while. You'll know soon. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out with me. Can make me stay. Can make me stay. I love the hair gradient. It's really nice. All right, she's done, guys. <sighs> Let me sign, and then I can spend the last few minutes uh, <laughs> working on he another one of many frames for this animation. <laughs> Let me save this, though. <laughs> of course I'm so glad you like it huh save the time lapse and all that good stuff <laughs> more frames chip away at it you know let it be my stream project for when I am doing our streams I mean, obviously, I'll work on it a little bit while I'm not um, streaming as much as I can, so. It's always good hanging out with you guys. Eee! This week went by fast, no? Right? I'm like, I feel like it has. I have an appointment next Monday for my routine massage. I can't wait for that. I think the massages have really been helping because my shoulders have, like, not been as tight so tight 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 <laughs> sorry <laughs> the marination yeah <laughs> Tuco is fucking insane I love that guy 
I wish I were that level of gremlin sometimes. Got to save a web version of this too, honestly. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, all right, that looks good. Save. <laughs> My brain is made of honey right now, so you can have it back. Hey, yo. <laughs> Let me save a web resolution of this. Okay. All right, she's all done. Now we work a little bit on my, <laughs> just a little, put it on the bottom. There you go. Yes. And close this. Ugh. Okay. Dude, we ran out of a lot of stuff at the same time, so our Costco trip was expensive today. <laughs> we ran out of, like, dish detergent. We ran out of fucking, uh, what, what else? Like, diapers and uh, sodas. Yeah, I hate it. It's like, what when you do a Costco run, it's like you spend, like, maybe a hundred bucks or something restocking on, like, uh bulk of something but we ran out of stuff like at the same time so i'm like oh damn <laughs> i know i hate when that happens i'm like man we don't have dish detergent we don't have fucking diapers we need drinks for home we need fucking like laundry detergent too that shit's fucking expensive we need toothpaste like we ran out of everything and i'm like ah oh, damn it <laughs> like just perfectly timed everything just we had to get everything and i'm like ah oh, fuck <laughs> We usually spend 200 Yeah, that's what I mean, though. Like, 100 is, like, because because normally 100 would be a $100 Costco trip is, like, diapers and drinks. That's about it. And then maybe, like, you know, a snack item of some sort. And then, or, like, soap. And then gas. So that's like under 100. But since we ran out of everything at the same time for household essentials, it wound up being like a little over 200. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. All the cleaning supply stuff. That's definitely something you want to get in bulk because in fucking grocery stores they are expensive. It's kind of fucked up. <laughs> Every time I spend money on cleaning essentials, I, I get so mad because it's expensive and I'm getting real tired of shit costing money. <laughs> it's like, you think I want to spend money on this? I don't want to spend money on cleaning stuff, but I also don't want to live in a pigsty and have child protection services come in and saying that I'm not fostering a healthy environment for my children. So, <laughs> but also like, I, I don't like living in a mess either. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you should obviously always buy toilet paper in bulk. It's expensive when you don't. I'm like, damn, that's like about half the cost of what it would be if you bought it in bulk. It's what the hell even. <laughs> this Was I? All right, let's take a look at the animation real quick. Oh, she's coming along. All right. If I can just... Make a living doing live 2D stuff and animation. I don't know. I like everything that I do, though, guys. Uh, I'm torn. 
I like everything that I do, and I'm fortunate enough to say that I get to do what I, I for monies. I, I get to provide for my family doing what I like to do. So, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to be bold and say, oh, if I could only do this one type of artwork, I would. Um, I like all of it, honestly. It keeps things interesting. I'm going to line this real quick, and I'm going to get the fuck out of here. I'm going to fuck off. <laughs> Oh yeah, 40 rolls and it lasts for months. We're good on toilet paper, but we need more paper paper towels. That's like the one thing we forgot. Just going to do the outline. Onion layer? Am I even on the right layer? I am, okay. I'm like, am I even on the right layer? It's fucked up that I have to ask that, but, you know. Okay, the outline is looking good. I'm getting faster at it, guys. Neuron activation. Whoops. <laughs> See, even with the line art kind of just established, let's see how it looks. Yeah, it's not bad. I just have to add the line weight and then like the other stuff. I can probably swing it. All right, let's see how it looks. Whoops. Hell yeah. She's boobing boobly, guys. <laughs> All right, I'm going to line weight this. You love to see it. My stupid cat. Oh God, I had to like reach over and open the door. Okay, let me zoom out. There you go, so you guys can actually see see the action as I'm adding line weight. Eee, drive safely. Oh, yeah.
And then I will only have five more body frames to do. And then the other stuff. And then coloring. And then sprucing. <laughs> the labor of love it is. Take a look. Hold on. Oh yeah. She's coming along, guys. Look at her. Only five more frames. The five frame difference. Hell yeah. I'm pleased. I'm pleased. I'm pleased. Tight, tight, tight. <laughs> She's coming along, guys. All right, I gotta stop here. Have a good night. I will see you guys for fight night, hopefully. So uh, see you guys on Discord otherwise. Thanks for hanging out with me. Good night.